So as you can see, the trees are blossoming, leaves are blooming, everything's coming to life. It is springtime, warmer temperatures have arrived, thank God. So it's time to get the irrigation pump set up so I can water the putting green and the rest of my yard. And I'm going to show you how you can actually quick prime a jet pump to save you guys some headaches and a lot of time. So with that, let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is actually connect the water supply line to the pump itself, which is all you're doing is slipping it onto this. You might have to fight with it a little bit. that's on as you can see get the pump sitting where it wants just like that now once you have the hose on you just want to take your hose clamps tighten them up make sure that's secure so it's not going to go anywhere Nice and snug, and don't stab yourself with a screwdriver. It does not feel good. So you can see I actually got two on here. That's just to make sure this isn't gonna slip off, because there is pressure behind it, and you don't wanna be leaking water all over the place. To quick prime, a jet pump, just like that, irrigation pump or some of you may have this in your house in order to prime it what you're going to need is a little submersible pump on the line that comes off of the foot valve which is your feed line you're going to want to put a hose sprocket on it because what you're going to do is you're actually going to pump water directly into the line instead of taking off this cap off and on off and on and dumping water in it you're not going to have to do that so other than filming, this does not take long. So let me show you how I'm gonna do it. You're gonna need one of these. This is a washer feed line. So it's got two female ends on it. So let me show you how I'm gonna hook okay, it up. So what you're gonna do, as you can see, I actually have my water right here, obviously, but you can use a five gallon bucket filled with water and it'll work just fine. So take your one female end, make sure you get it on. Nice and snug. That's not going anywhere. Pump that into your water source or your five gallon bucket. And then just move it here. Okay, so you can see this. All I'm gonna do is hook the other end on. just to that. So now that you're hooked up to your pump and to that, you need two extension cords, one for each pump. And all you're gonna do is open the valve on that and start pumping water into the feed line. Let's start. All right, so this is my little submersible pump. So I'm just plugging it in. So as you can see, I have a leak, but that's okay. It's not a big deal because the pressure is going to go down into there. Don't worry about things getting a little wet. Open up a valve, just one of them. Okay. So there we go. Now water's moving through it. Correct? Exactly. Now we're going to plug that pump in. Okay, so now we're actually pumping water into the feed line. We don't have to prime. The only thing you need to do is relieve air pressure. And as you can already see, almost done, it's pulling water. I can already unplug the first pump. Done, we are up to pressure. That's it, that took three minutes. It's the easiest way to do it. So I'll close this off. It 
and now we're going to find out if there's a problem with the foot valve or anything like that. This should hold pressure. If it doesn't, then the foot valve has a leak in it, which is an easy fix. Just waiting. She's good. And it does not look like the pressure is dropping. So we're good to go. I can water my lawn now. Easiest way to quick prime a jet pump. Now let's hook up some hoses and test out the sprinklers. What do you think? You wanna do that? I wanna do that. We're gonna do that. Okay, so all I did was hook up my garden hose. This is just my handheld one, but just to do a test. The water's still on. Got my handy dandy. Look at that, we're watering. Now how much effort did that take? None at all. If you have an irrigation pump, this is how you want to prime the line because I didn't have to sit here for 10, 15 minutes constantly dumping water into it. It took like a minute less. What do you guys think about that tip? I hope you like it. Now it's time to get the actual hoses. Now that's how you prime a pump in the backwoods. It takes no time, no effort. You're not sitting here for 10, 15 minutes outside in the bugs, dumping water and closing it off, turning it off, shutting it off. You don't have to do that. Pump water into the feed line and let it rip because it's gonna fire up without an issue and you don't have to struggle with it. It's time to water my grass. I can't wait. First time all season.